so uh <clears throat> tonight marks uh, the first time uh, that I can recall in this apartment that uh, I've ever had to ever had to forcefully uh, boot some that I've ever had to boot a uh, spiritual presence of any sort that's uh, gotten a little too uh, comfortable with their surroundings. Though, uh, if it's a nice spirit and it's uh, comfortable with their surroundings, I don't really care. I just give him a little uh, gib slap across the back of the head energetically to kind of be like, yo, this is my place. But uh, every once in a while they'll get a little too, uh, you'll get one that's got an attitude with it and uh, those gotta go. So, uh, the story behind that, uh, I was sitting here maybe a half hour ago or so, and my cat lets out this god-awful yowl. It's not just not just like you know your your usual meow like you know oh my god give me attention is like a it's like some it's like oh my god it was like an oh my god something just stepped on my tail and kicked me across the room kind of yowl. So I look at him, and he's over there just looking around, dazed and confused, and, uh, and he looks at me and lets out another meow. So I go over there, and uh, as soon as I uh, stepped into the dining area where all this happened, I was kind of overcome with just a random is just like the only uh, only way to the only way to describe it is uh is kind of an oppressive and heavy feeling and uh, I haven't felt like that all day I hadn't had any reason to feel like that all day So it's just kind of when people would sleep on me. It was just very random, so uh, I had to kick it out. Like you ain't gonna pull that crap. So uh, in the words of David Spade, "Bye bye." Paranormal stuff aside, uh, been a good day. I actually have the next two days off and we'll go back in the work till Friday. Which is kind of a double edged sword. Got pipe ash on my phone. Excuse the loud puff into the microphone. But yeah, the next two days off, kind of double edged sword. Uh, two days off more time to spend working on music which I've been doing 
since I woke up from my nap earlier. And, uh... Time to chill and to get the get my area of the apartment kind of cleaned up. But uh, on the flip side, I uh, need the money. Which uh, you know, I'm not a I'm. Not, I'm not poor, but, you know, we've been kind of, when we got to bed, uh, we kind of bit off more than we could uh, chew financially. I have to th I'm having to think up uh, creative ways to manage lunch during the week. That's another positive, though, with two days off, you know. Just sit at home and eat ramen all day. So, uh, I get paid tomorrow, so, uh, with all the direct deposit and stuff, that should be, a uh, that should be fine. We'll go shopping and buy, actually do proper grocery shopping tomorrow. It's like I won't, I won't have money for a try another cigar this week, but uh, I got a, I got the Dominican uh, Dominican Glory Maduro coming in the mail, so uh, and that one I'm looking forward to. It's a Virginia and cigar leaf. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, a Vagar or a Siva or something, you know. Garva. There you go. I'll, uh, I'm gonna get back to making up uh, chord progressions and uh, silly names for uh, tobacco blends. <laughs> this is a uh, autumn evening, by the way, in this pipe. I'm on my last bit of it. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably buy more of it since it's, uh, the only aromatic so far that I've had that doesn't lose its flavor near the end of the bowl. But, uh, till next time, uh, take care and keep your stick on the ice. And don't don't let the ghosties pinch you in the butt. <laughs>